as you guys do know, I do write poetry. Um, I like to write poetry. Um, I, it's a, one of my um, intimate forms of expression is to God. And um, I share them with others. Um, a lot of my poetry is really based on experiences that a lot of us go through. Um, and kind of also, like, it expresses like how God really relates to us and how God understands us. Um, so um, I'll open some with you guys. And um, I have two. So um, here's, here's the first one. Can you love a murderer? Can you forgive a repetitive cheater? Can you choose not to pull the trigger on someone that shot your loved one in front of you? Can you hug someone that you knew was going to stab you right in the back and speak ill of your character? <clears throat> Can you wash the feet of someone that ridiculed you? Do you have the desire to commit your heart, mind, and soul to someone that will probably never even love you back, let alone acknowledge you? Can you pray for those that genuinely hate your guts? But God, oh God, you give us the love you give us, despite our relentless hatred, lack of trust, and unfaithfulness, we are unapologetically expressed towards you. We know that love hurts, but if anyone knows that, knows that the best, it's definitely you. Your love is fervent, unending, and eternal, yet you still willingly choose to direct it towards us. You move like we never knew you, but you pursue us like a husband determined to save his marriage, like a mother still seeing the good in her child, knowing that he's a shameless felon. You have the heart of a child, easily forgiving the abuse and infidelity done towards you. Mm. Your heart is so genuine, pure, looking at us as if we have never even sinned against you. You're liberating in your expression of love, but we mock you while we're in bondage to our own resentment and hatred amongst mm. each other. Mm. Dude, that was the first piece. Yeah, cool. um, so here's a final one. I call this one, I see you and you see me. I cannot see you, I cannot touch you, and oftentimes I cannot sense you. But you make all the sense in the world to me. You were you were there for me and showed me more love than my loved ones, mm. that I can see, that I can touch, and oftentimes I talk to but often unable to reach. Mm. You showed me you're not imaginary but divine. Mm. Your words have been established in reverence for many generations throughout the earth. Mm. You saved the souls of many throughout human history. Your existence is more than what our minds can comprehend. Mm. So you come in human flesh to prove your love to us in spite of open rebellion and disdain projected towards you. You sympathize with us. You grieve with us like you did Lazarus. You share in our deep pain. You took on shame, demonization, injustice, unjust criticism, betrayal, and ridicule in the midst of many. They beat you in the street until your flesh was torn, the bones of your ribcage exposed, and your blood gushes out on the ground, crying for help silently. But your will and unrelenting love saved us to save us, sustained you. Mm. We thought you were praying down fire upon us from heaven, mm. but you were praying to have us forgiven because we, not, we know not what we do. Mm. You beat death, and instead of enforcing righteous indignation upon us, you share with us your gospel of eternal life to save our souls. Mm. You always hear us when we pray to you. You're quick to listen and slow to speak yes. and slow to anger towards us. Yes, Lord. From your heart, you are genuinely merciful and loving. So to become angry and full of constant love, mm. you do not keep on rebuking, nor are you angry forever. Mm. You do not punish us as we deserve, or pay us according to our sins and wrongs. As high as the skies above the earth, so great is your love for those who Amen. acknowledge you and honor you. As far as the east is from the west, so far do you remove our sins from us. Thank you, Lord. As a father is kind to his children, so the Lord is kind to those who honor him. Amen. Even though you are almighty, you make intercession for us in heaven. You cheer us on and leave your heavenly realm to help us win this race, race of faith in this life. Mm. You have many cuts, scrapes, scars, and bruises, carrying your cross on behalf of our sins. Amen. But you're so quick to help us carry ours, despite Amen. our sins and rebellion against the greatest acts of love towards us. Amen. Wow, talk about loving your neighbor as you love yourself. Mm. You hear us when we're alone and left for dead. Mm. You talk to us when many are disinterested in us. You forgive us when we're scorned with unforgiveness yes, from Lord. others and even ourselves. Yes, Lord. Thank you for being you. Thank, you, Thank you for being true. What can we do without you? Your saints and number one fans rave on and on about you. We shout and chant for you. You are our mentor. You are a perfect role model. Thank you for being here with us and being our king and savior, our good shepherd and father. Amen. All praise and glory and blessings be to your name Amen. in this life and next, always and forevermore. All praises, love, and glory be to your name, Heavenly Father God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord.